respected audience assalamu alaikum i am professor shamsud jaman professor of pathology i welcome all in today's 33rd lecture on systemic pathology today day 3 of diseases of cardiovascular system day 3 of diseases of cardiovascular system dear audience today's topic is varicose vein dear audience we know vein wall is thinner than the wall of the artery first come to what is the definition of varicose vein abnormally dilated and tortuous vein due to prolonged increased of intraluminal pressure in vein is called varicose vein. Dear audience, abnormally dilated and torso was vein due to prolonged increased intraluminal pressure in vein is known as varicose vein. Suppose this is vein and within the vein this is blood. Blood is flowing like this and you know within the blood there is hydrostatic pressure. If there is prolonged increased pressure within the vein, if this is the increased intraluminal vein for long time and this is prolonged increased intraluminal pressure, there will be abnormally dilatation. and vein will be tortuous. So, due to prolonged increased intraluminal pressure, there is abnormal dilatation and the vein become tortuous. This is known as varicose vein. Now, come to sites of varicose vein. Dear audience, varicose vein commonly found in lower extremities. Commonly found in lower extremities. Dear audience, I have told you abnormally dilated and tortuous veins due to increased intraluminal pressure is known as varicose vein. Now, come to pathogenesis of varicose vein. Dear audience, first we have to recapitulate how the integrity of vein is maintained. how integrity of vein is maintained. Integrity of vein is maintained by Tunica media of vein by support to vein by structures of 
around the vein like connective tissue stroma and by other structures. Again, integrity of vein in our body is maintained by tunica intima of the wall of the vein and support to vein by structures around the vein like connective tissue stroma and other structures. Dear audience, suppose this is the vein, this is the wall of the vein. The integrity of the vein is maintained by the wall of the vein itself and also by the structures around the vein like connective tissue stroma and others. If this integrity of the vein is not maintained, there is chance of development of varicose vein. If the integrity of vein is not maintained, then there is chance of varicose vein. Now, come to what are the causes that are associated with loss of integrity of the vein. Loss of integrity of vein may be due to developmental defect in wall of vein. developmental defect in wall of vein is associated with loss of integrity of the vein. Poor support around the vein is associated with loss of integrity of vein. Dear audience, poor support around the vein may be due to increased adipose tissue around the vein as in obesity. So, poor support around the vein may be due to increased adipose tissue around the vein as in obesity. So, if there is loss of integrity of the vein due to developmental defect in vein wall or due to poor support around the vein as in obesity, the vein becomes dilated and tortuous and this is varicose vein. So, this is the varicose vein. If we do histopathology of varicose vein, what may be the findings? Histopathology reveals thinning of vein wall at dilated part. Dear audience, at dilated part of vein in varicose veins, the wall of vein is very thin. Thick wall of vein at the level of fibrosis of vein. So, at level of fibrosis of vein, there is thickening of the wall 
at the level of dilatation there is thinning of the vein wall and this is the histopathological findings of varicose vein. Dear audience, I have told you the common site of varicose vein is lower extremities and you know in varicose vein there is abnormal dilatation of the vein. If anybody suffers from varicose veins, what may be the complications? Complications of varicose veins, venous stasis of blood, congestion, edema, thrombosis, some tropical changes, tropical changes like stasis dermatitis, stasis ulceration. So, venous stasis of blood, congestion, edema, thrombosis, tropical changes like stasis dermatitis, stasis ulcerations are the complications of varicose vein. Dear audience, in varicose veins, the vein become dilated and tortuous. As the vein is dilated, so there is increased volume of blood and you know varicose vein commonly occurs in lower extremities. As in dilated vein there is increased amount of blood, the venous return is a bit diminished due to decreased venous return following dilatation of the vein there will be venous stasis, venous stasis. Dilatation of vein, increased blood volume, due to increased blood volume there will be diminished venous return. Due to diminished venous return, there is a stasis of blood in vein. A stasis of blood in vein. Now come to congestion in varicose veins. Increased volume of blood in tissue due to impairment of venous return is known as congestion. Dear audience, you know in varicose vein there is dilatation of the vein and there is stasis of blood in the vein. As there is stasis of blood in the vein, there is increased volume of blood within the vein and this is known as congestion. increased volume of blood due to dilatation of veins is associated with congestion. Again, increased volume of blood in tissue due to impaired venous return is known as congestion. You know Edema may occur in varicose vein. What is edema? We know excess fluid in interstitial space or in serous cavity is known as edema. Dear audience, if this is the dilated vein and tortuous vein, there is increased volume of blood. Due to increased volume of blood in the vein, 
there will be increased hydrostatic pressure and due to increased hydrostatic pressure there will be transition and due to transition there will be edema. So, in varicose vein increased volume of blood in vein due to increased volume of blood in vein there is increased hydrostatic pressure due to increased hydrostatic pressure there will be transudation there will be transudation and water will come out of the blood vessel due to transudation there will be edema again as there is increased volume of blood there is increased hydrostatic pressure in the vein due to increased hydrostatic pressure there will be transudation and this transudation leads to edema dear audience now come to thrombosis in varicose veins respected audience we know what is thrombus solid or semi solid mass formed by constituent of blood in an uninterrupted cardiovascular system is known as thrombus and the phenomenon is known as thrombosis so there is formation of thrombus in dilated and tortuous veins in case of varicose veins dear audience we also know there is varicostriate for thrombosis one is endothelial injury alteration in blood flow that is stasis of blood flow or turbulence of blood flow and alteration in constituent of blood that is hypercoagulability of blood one is endothelial injury turbulence of blood flow or stasis of blood flow another one is hypercoagulability these three are associated with thrombosis you know in dilated and tortuous vein there is stasis of blood there is stasis of blood as there is stasis of blood within the vein and stasis of blood is nothing but the alteration in the blood flow as alteration in blood flow is associated with thrombus formation so there is chance of thrombosis in varicose veins varicose vein stasis of blood and this stasis of blood is associated with thrombus formation now come to trophic changes like stasis dermatitis stasis ulceration dear audience inflammation of skin is known as dermatitis and breach of continuity of surface epithelium following sloughing out of inflammatory necrotic tissue is known as ulcer i have told you varicose vein commonly occurs in the lower extremities if anybody suffers from varicose veins for long time you know there is stasis of blood in the vein there will be stasis of blood in the vein in the lower extremities and due to stasis of blood there is chance of inflammation of the skin and this is known as stasis dermatitis in the lower extremities again due to stasis a blood in the veins in the varicose veins in lower extremities there is signs of ulceration in the lower part of the lower extremities and this is known as stasis ulceration in varicose vein dear audience today i have told you about the varicose vein 
briefly, I have told you abnormally dilated and torsuous vein due to prolonged increased intraluminal pressure of vein is known as varicose vein. It commonly occurs in lower extremities. If the integrity of vein is lost, there is chance of development of varicose vein and you know integrity of the vein is maintained by its wall itself and also by the support provided by the structures around the vein. If there is developmental defect in the wall of the vein, integrity will be lost and if there is diminished support around the vein, there will be loss of integrity of the vein. And if the integrity of the vein is lost, there is dilatation of the vein and there is development of varicose vein. Histopathology of varicose vein reveals thinning of vein wall at the dilated part and thickening of the vein wall where there is fibrosis. If anybody suffers from varicose vein for long times, there may be some complications like venous stasis of blood, congestion, edema, thrombosis, some trophic changes like stasis ulceration, stasis dermatitis, derodines. This is all about the varicose veins briefly today up to this thanks all.